Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video with me. My name is Sohila Karimi. I'm a professor and a neuroscientist at the University of Manitoba, where I lead a research program that has focused on therapeutic development for multiple sclerosis. Today, I'm very excited to share our new findings that recently published in Brain Journal and is supported by the MS Society of Canada. In this study, we found that a protein called neuroglin-1-beta-1 is associated with MS development and progression and could be potentially used as an early disease marker and a treatment for MS. In an MS-relevant animal model, we found that neuroglin-1 levels in the blood decline early in pre-symptomatic stage and continues to decrease as MS progresses. When the reduced level of neuroglin-1 is restored therapeutically in these animals while MS is developing, it can delay the onset of the disease and alleviate disease severity and progression. Importantly, we validated these animal studies using human MS samples and found that the plasma levels of neuroglin-1 were also significantly reduced in individuals with early MS and was associated with progression to relapsing remitting form. We have now received new funding from the MS Society of Canada to further investigate the potential of neuroglin-1 treatment in repairing of damaged nerve fibers and promoting remyelination in the brain and spinal cord. We also hope to look at the levels of neuroglin-1 in a larger number of human MS samples in future studies. Overall, these findings hold promise for early diagnosis and targeted MS prevention and treatment. Thank you, MS Society, for funding our research, and thank you for watching this video with me.